It is my great pleasure to announce that the 2023 Heisman Trophy winner is Jaden Daniels from Louisiana State University. Wow, this past weekend, LSU quarterback Jaden Daniels won the 2023 Heisman Trophy. The SoCal native played football at Cajon High School in San Bernardino and was coached by Nick Rogers. And our Paul Diano is with Nick in studio right now for more on this. Hey, Paul. Hey, guys. Uh, this is cool to have uh, Nick here with us. Nick, first off, congratulations. Uh, you know Jaden better than most people. Uh, take us back to last weekend. You were there in New York, correct? Yeah, I got a chance to go. Uh, you know, I got invited by Jaden and his family to uh, kind of tag along and see how things are going with them and how mm -hmm. it went. Uh, They're going great. great. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, you know, and it was a great experience. Got a chance to kind of, you know, rub shoulders with a lot of the former Heisman Trophy winners. Mm -hmm. So it was a, overall just a great experience. Now, as a high school coach, it is your career to be a coach. To hear your name mentioned at the Heisman Trophy mm -hmm winning speech. What did that mean for you? As a it, coach? it was it was definitely unexpected. I didn't see that coming uh, when it happened. You know, I got, it, you know, kind of one of those things that kind of gets you inside. And you're like, OK, you know, but that's the thing about Jaden. He he remembers uh, everything, you know, from his, you know, the city of San Bernardino, people that have helped him along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he really represents us well. And you coached him from his freshman year onward. You, you, you just told me a few minutes ago he never missed a game. Yeah. Take me back to his freshman year. Did you know something was special from that point? You knew he was he, he was good. You know, he stepped on the field. I mean, he, you know, at that point we made him starting quarterback guy before game one, and he was I mean he was tiny. He was you know maybe five ten. And he really? says in his speech he's like 140. He wasn't 140 pounds. He was maybe 110 pounds. But um, you <laughs> so know, five ten, 110, yeah, and, and we, fast forward eight yeah, years. Yeah, and, and, and we had to get a special permit, you know, with CIF to make sure he was okay to play. Uh, and then, you know, you start going and you see him d develop and over the years, you know, you're like, okay, I want to see this kid play on Saturdays. And then a little bit later, like, no, this kid's probably gonna be a Sunday player. So uh -huh. he's special. So, uh, yeah, he, he didn't miss a game. He, he was, you know, lights out the whole year uh, or, you know, all four years. Mm -hmm. uh, CIF player of the year twice. Um, so he's, he's special. Was there one game or one play in particular where you just knew that he just elevated his game from great to yeah. a, sun, a potential Sunday football player. I, I go back to his junior year, and we're playing uh, for the CIF championship, which is, uh, you know, the first time in 30 years we had a chance to to, uh, to win it that year. But mm -hmm. in that game, he goes for basically 600 yards, 300 yards wow. rushing, 300 yards passing, wow. uh, you know, MVP, everything. Um, and just kind of see that experience. And then you watch him carry it over. And then, you know, just this past year, he does it against Florida. You know, uh -huh. he goes for over 600 yards against Florida on um, like, national I've seen television. That. I'm like, <laughs> then I, I actually texted him. I said, I, I said, oh, you know, I've seen that before. He was like, hey, I had to see if I can do it in college, too. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a good kid. And Jaden puts the student in student athlete. Tell me about what he does off the field and what he's done at Cajon High School and then at Arizona State. Yeah, so, you know, at Cajon, he was always, you know, I he graduated with close to a 4.0 GPA. Awesome. Uh, you know, high honors, gets every award you can possibly get academically as well. Goes on to ASU uh, at Arizona State. He graduates, graduates with, you know, a degree in business communication less than three years. Wow. Then as a grad transfer, heads over to LSU, is, you know, looking, working on his master's in communications. So uh, I think that's going to serve him well. What does the Jaden Daniels story do for San Bernardino? You know, it, it kind of, he embodies our district motto, which is making hope happen. Uh, and, and he definitely is doing that for the kids that are around him, mm -hmm. uh, the kids that are following him, and they, they look to Jaden. I mean, he was on campus the other day, and it was, it was like a celebrity. Everyone's coming up and awesome. seeing it. And, and, you know, now our football kids also see it, and they're like, okay, that's something I can kind of strive for. It's pretty exciting. Well, congratulations to you and to Jaden. Nick Thank Rogers, you. thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thank you. it.